it's time for some more viewers' comments. Okay, Mac Racing made a comment on episode 7, part 2 of 4. Uh, funny though, righteous ones should read uh, their own book. Many religious people scoff at the idea that marijuana is real medicine. Uh, well, in Exodus 30, 21, 23, directions are given for a holy anointing oil made with canna balsam, the biblical name for cannabis, if I said that right. Uh, some English translations call it sweet cane. Uh, it's not like sugar cane, of course. Or calamus, which is a totally different substance. However, canna balsam, or cannabis, is well documented as a useful medicine in biblical times. In fact, it was used all over the Holy Lands, as far east as India and China, uh, where it was first grown and used for medicine 5,000 years ago. So it sounds to me like some people can't see the light, even when it's burning weed bush right in front of them. Uh, but as we already know, uh, there are some ministries that understand that marijuana is only a plant and not the devil. It's not the devil! No, it's not. <laughs> also, anyway, uh, Jill Hills made in a comment too as well. I like that last one. <laughs> uh, great show, but how do you guys concentrate on your lines while blazing up? <laughs> Years of practice? I don't have any lines. Yep, but not reading our lines though, of course. Uh, also sometimes, uh, you know, there's more than one take. Yes, we cheat a little. We're bad little boys. But don't tell anyone. Oh, uh, don't forget, different drugs, you know, affect different people differently. Uh, one person may get wasted on a joint where another person doesn't. Okay? Anyway, Traumatic Integrity's comment was, I heard that some guy was proposing to the government that they legalize pot because of they tax it, it could save America from the recession. Uh, I think it was the governor of Massachusetts that was mentioning it, actually. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, unfortunately, though, money isn't the only issue. Uh, unfortunately, some people are just plain scared of it. Uh, those people are probably scared of a lot of things. Marijuana just happens to be one of them. Uh, but fear is a very powerful emotion, and you can think of it a bit like terrorism. Anyway. Even if this generation may not change, if you start into introducing alternatives now, their offspring won't be as ignorant or brainwashed as the last. Same with religion. Religion should be a choice. Not force it on us from birth like it used to be. How is that different from terrorism? Oh yeah, the terrorists hurt and kill people. But religious people don't, right? Yeah, I guess uh, Inquisitions don't count. The Inquisition, let's begin. The Inquisition, look out, Sam. We have our mission to convert the Jews. We're gonna teach them wrong from right. We're gonna help them see the light and make an offer that they can't refuse. That the Jews just can't refuse. By the way, an Inquisition is a formal tribunal of the Roman Catholic Church from 1232 to 1820. It was created to discover and suppress heresy. It was a severe interrogation, often violating the rights of privacy and individuals. Violating rights. More like obliterating them. Now, don't get me wrong here. You know, I may not believe in organized religion, but I do respect other people's choices they don't hurt anyone else. I just wish other people would extend the same courtesy to us. We don't hurt them, they sure as hell hurt us. So who's the bad people here? Anything can be taken too far, especially religion. That's it for this segment. Okay, it's time for some final thoughts. Okay, this week we learned that anti-drug groups are willing to tread in censorship waters with head chops just to eradicate marijuana. Plus, smoking two joints is so popular, 
the three different bands and many more, you'll have to sing about it. Also, his donors are so bad, and why are there so many non-smokers supporting marijuana legalization? Because they know stoners and know that they're good people. That's why. The ones that are trying to put us in jail probably know some stoners themselves. But those stoners aren't stupid enough to tell the radical anti-drug lobbyist friend of theirs because they'd automatically hate them. Pretty pathetic. We also learn that a shitload of young celebrities are coming out of the closet when it comes to smoking pot. And Megan Fox is coming out of the closet that little bit extra, of course. Uh, we also learn that killing and jailing people without even trying to solve the problem first just doesn't work. It doesn't work with drugs. It doesn't work with terrorism. And like waterboarding, just give it up already. Also, apparently, there are still a lot of people that are scared shitless of anyone smoking pot near anyone else. Especially when it comes to their own precious gatherings. They're scared of a lot of things, and pot is just one. I kind of pity them, really. They're going to die without ever living first. And die in ignorance, too. You might be a king or a little street sweeper, but sooner or later you dance with the reaper. <laughs> Do they really think any decent stoner would walk around at a celebration and give their stash away to any, you know, kid that moseys on by? No, I don't think so, too. No. Just as many stoners are as, are as responsible as just as many non-tokers. Have any of those fucks ever given beer to their underage kids? Ever? I bet they did. Anyway, that's pretty well it. I just have to say it would be nice if everyone, everywhere, would just start accepting each other as human beings. And really get down to fixing humanity's problems while we're at it. And of course, instead of just bickering and fighting and pushing each other all the time, too. I wish people would get past our barbarisms and just get on with being civilized. You know what I mean? Say what you want about Star Trek. Gene Roddenberry did have a great vision when it came to future civilizations. Of course, except for that synthahol crap. Like, what the hell is that all about? No way the future alters the brain waves in any way? Come on. Or, is there an even harder but natural drugs in the future? Ah, trade in weed for a pure endorphin rush? Well, depends where they get it from, I guess. I ain't getting high on some dead guy's brain matter. Uh-huh, no way, no how. And I don't drink coffee that comes from a cat's ass either. Keep that as a final thought. Well, that's it for this show. Tune in next week for some more stoner stuff as usual. And of course, some more drug docs, comedy, information, and hopefully some activism funding. Uh, get involved now, people, before you don't have a choice. Uh, unless you quit, of course, but that's also your choice. What? <laughs> We're not hypocrites like them? <laughs> Go figure. Well, chop for now, and keep the doobie fires lit. <laughs>